okay, well, we'll come down to the uh, the B tables. No offense. I mean, A, B, B, A. And the gubernatorial candidate. Good morning to you, Harriet. Thanks very much for being here. Liz Cheney. Good primary morning, challenger, Wyoming supports America's President first agenda. President Donald Trump has endorsed you. Cheney the first recently agenda said her re-election would be the very most important House contest in the country in 2022. Do you agree? You want to rig new government in there? You want to look like the Indo-European, Europa, variant on it. What do you want? I'll build the Shangri-La. And the Wyoming first agenda. Uh, Donald Trump won Wyoming by over 70% of the vote, and I would argue that he's probably more popular today than he was last November. Well, it first starts on paper. And if I can't get that done, the hell the problem with the rest of us. Cheney and I is which side of the party is going to prevail. And I believe that it's the conservative side. The primary challenger first, would be, I'm character card for role for Sam on, on these things when and, I present uh, a really questionnaire so of any I, form I or any challenge. My IQ test would be like next year. 25 million well, well, out of 27 million. And that would be one. The House is likely going for the GOP. The Senate is a question. I want to show you these senators that are up for invulnerable You have colleges, you have on how important this you upcoming colleges, you Build Back Better vote will prisons, be. These are four toss-ups, 2022 school, Senate contests, baseball, where Democrats are up for re-election, and they are cylinders. vulnerable. That's why we just heard from Marsha Blackburn. Oh, metrics is to determine what the change in rails are for the perimeters of any calculation policy. base. Give us your thoughts on the current policy, Harriet, and what your priorities would be Any policy would be, would be nice. House. I'm usually a little illiterate well, to the, the terms. Well, the Better proposal is, is not anything of the sort. One agenda it's actually in the first a agenda. terrible disaster for the United States of America. It's absolutely contrary to our entire constitutional foundation. One agenda from Wyoming. That would be the, job, the, the system. Well, we have anything at the federal level Democrats at the board, so we're playing D on that. And again, back to the colleges, pulling it back America in and unifying those people country. in a direction of information. That would be director of information technology, Democrats heading off those 42 pin up. chips and to get the communications, to figure out the rabbit count in that area, to actually get a population count in that area. And timeline. Because just how I have a census do doesn't mean that census is neural netted from this button to phase to actual speed lines to get the message Wyoming down fast enough instead of the natural herd for winter hey, and Christmas numbers right on the stock market. Well, welcome back, and I am back with Harriet Hegman, who is challenging Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney in Wyoming's 2022 did, did primary race. The uh, Harriet, I want to get your take on Wyoming and the uh, obvious energy production, a leader in energy for the country. On day one of Joe Biden's presidency, he canceled the So Exxon Wyoming has these resources for energy OPEC in general. We could we have square footage. These would the be the areas within Wyoming where you could park any kind of thing right now, maybe. Those what I'm pulling to Wyoming. Any investors want to pull in, not moving in, or even if you want to move in, move in. Energy policy. You know, why not? I mean, at that point in time, well, Maria, again, they free. Joe Biden they'd be pissed. They, oh, disaster, whoever owns New York come from New York. If we were big like that, piss them off. Is, but they it, can't it, do it anything because it it's those twelve jury members in town away from the conspiracy. The they can't burn. Donald Trump was excellent in terms of energy independence. That would be the. It is the right to assemble. Our prosperity and is based bear on arms. affordable energy. And what this administration and we is gather, doing gather here is today making with everything pause. more expensive by the this policies that they promotion. have adopted. In relation to coal, oil, and gas. Any promotion, any next step. So it's, it's still within zero one. So one of, Back to the college. We, I don't know. How, well, Wyoming would be wind. I've heard a lot about wind uh, in Wyoming. So we're going to go. It's a natural resource. It's a, the windy area is too windy that's for skyscrapers and shit to be built. And it's field forever. I mean, it's just fucking field forever. Guys. You know how Alaska does oil and everybody gets a tax on that? I'm going to try that. And then cut off. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe.